don't be an idiot like me. Make sure you route that vent tube down where it's supposed to be. Otherwise, you're gonna jack up your new exhaust pipe. <laughs> Alright folks, I thought I'd do a quick video here. Alright, so one of the things that you may do when you first get your Beta 4 stroke is remove this green restrictor cap, <laughs> is what I call it, uh, from beneath the gas lid and also remove the charcoal canister and all the bracketry tubes and vents. I thought I'd be wise and remove the gas tank and that would help me pull some of these tubes and vents without uh, damaging any connectors or electrical things that may be under the uh, gas tank blindly. However, there was a problem that I ran into. All right, so there's the tube I'm talking about, the vent tube, the clear vent tube right there. If you can see that. When you uh, put the gas tank back on, you wanna make sure you route that tube behind that frame bar there and down like the owner's manual says. Otherwise, it's going to somehow make its way over to your exhaust and melt in half. All I can say is let it cool off, grab some WD-40 and a Scotch-Brite pad and put a little elbow grease in it and you might be able to get it back somewhere close to the way it was. And since it uh, melted my vent tube in half. I just used what was left over from removing the charcoal canister. All right, so uh, don't be an idiot like me. Make sure you route that vent tube down where it's supposed to be. Otherwise, you're gonna jack up your new exhaust pipe. That'll do it for this video. Hope you enjoyed the content. Stay tuned for the running oil change on this 2023 Beta 390 RRS. Cha-cha for now.